at this point, I can't, I can't even be mad. <laughs> what a Monday. Like, when they say Mondays are the, are the worst days of the week, they ain't lying, man. Y'all, <laughs> I can't believe. First of all, if you guys see my a lot of my videos, I've locked my keys in the truck before uh, when I was a rookie. I guess I'm still a rookie. You guys can, yeah, I'll give you guys that. All the haters, come on. Comment below, man. Tell me how dumb I am. Tell me how you become a local driver. Matter of fact, tell me to go back, work, do another profession. Because I love it. <laughs> I love it, baby. Tell me what I need to do, man. Tell me all the negative stuff, man. Because every negative comment, you know, that does a little something for my spirit. Add something to the pocket. <laughs> I, got, I need all of it. You feel me? But I really like... <laughs> Like, how do I lock the keys, man? I literally lock my spare keys in the truck. And, uh, like, okay, I'm going to give you a whole rundown, man. I, I just got done delivering. If you guys can see, I did a video about me going to the toll and dot, 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 dot. Went. That was recently, man. And um, delivered, dropped the salt off, did what I had to do. And then they are like, this batch was like, man, give me 10 minutes to find your load because I got to find your load coming near the yard. We got to do some woo-woo. You feel me? And I'm all right, cool. So I came to this mom and pops type of truck stop. The nearest like brand name truck, brand name truck stop, like a Love's Pilot, was like 40 some miles away. So I was like, let me come here. I, I post up right here, man. It's not too far from Walmart. We got Verizon, Dollar Tree. I don't eat Taco Bell, but for y'all who eat Taco Bell, they got Taco Bell. I'm like, ah, I, I, can, I, can, I can cool it right here. You know what I'm saying? So I came here apart, did a video, trying to be proactive. Did a video. Then I'm like, all right, let me see what they got inside. What kind of, what kind of snacks, what kind of munch. You know what I'm saying? They got inside. I got the munchies. You know what I'm saying? So I keep the spare key around my neck. You can see I got it on my neck now. But when I was doing the video, I'm like, okay, I don't want to really show the spare key around my neck. I want to be professional. So I took the spare key off. I threw it on the side of the bed. Now, on, on, on my top bunk, I got like the the little buckle seatbelt clicker thing that you can put the um, the safety net on there. I usually hang the keys there so I, it's visible to me. So I know when I'm done doing whatever I'm doing, it's right there in my face. Like, hey, bro, put me back on your neck <laughs> before you forget me. <laughs> but for some reason, I, I threw it on the side of the bed. And I looked at it too, like, don't forget. You ever did that? When you know where you place your keys or your wallet or your phone, whatever the case may be, and you put it on like an awkward place that you would never put it at, and you actually look at it and tell yourself, don't forget, you put it right here. And you still forget, I still forget. <laughs> so after I was done doing the video, I'm like, all right, let me go grab me something to eat. So I jump out the truck, and as you can see, it's kind of cold out here. So having this sweater on makes it feel like I have my lanyard on. Usually I can feel with my t-shirt, I can feel the lanyard on. But for some reason, when I got this extra layer, it makes me feel like, okay, the lanyard's on me, right? I jump out out of habit, I hit the lock button. All right, let me unlock it, okay? <laughs> I hit the lock button. I went inside the, um, the truck stop, grabbed me a little food, came back out, and when I went to go open the door, my heart's dropped. Like, it literally dropped. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. First thing I did was touch my neck, and sure enough, it was not there. And it popped right back in my head, exactly where I left it at. Right in here. <laughs> so I came around the other side, other side locked, man. I tried to, I tried to do it myself. Uh, I bought the tools, and one thing I can say, those um, lockout tools, stuff you buy at the truck stop or at the gas station, they don't work for semis. Don't even waste your $39. They do not work for semis. I'm telling you this right now. So don't waste your money, don't waste your time on buying that thing. The best thing you need to do is call a tow truck. And un thank God, because I called a tow truck, an hour later he came through. Matter of fact, before I called a tow truck, I did purchase it. And this is the reason why I'm telling you, don't waste your time buying it. I purchased a little kit. I tried to do it myself. Um, one guy I called, I thought he was nearby, but he was actually like hours and hours away. And he was kind of walking me through, which was really, really nice, man. I I, I, I tip you, I tip my I tip my hat off to you if I wear a hat, you know what I'm saying? 
But he kind of showed me like, yo, all you gotta do is use wedges and kind of bend the side of the, the door. You feel what I'm saying? You wanna bend it a little bit so you can have some space. Well, the tools that come with it, like I said, they're real fragile. They're not really thick enough to really do some damage, right? As far as unlocking the door or pushing the unlock button. And um, I tried, man, I'm sweating, man. I'm, I'm putting it in there, I'm putting it in there. It's not working, it's not working, it's not working. I call up um, a local tow truck company because the guy did tell me like, hey, if, if you can't do it, call a tow truck company. More likely they'll be able to do it. And sure enough, I call one that's literally down the road and they're like, yeah, 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 um, give us an hour or so. Like, why is it every time you need roadside or if you need help or with your truck, if it breaks down, whatnot, it's always an hour or so. And literally the place that I called from is 0 0.8 miles away. But the guy was already on the call and he apologized. He came up, very nice guy, man, very respectful. Um, he came up, he's like, hey man, I, I apologize for the time. I had to pull this engine out, blah, blah, blah. I'm not like, cool, I don't know rush, as long as you're here. And then he hit me with, I'm not sure if I could do that. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can unlock this truck for you. And I'm like, don't tell me that right now. I've been waiting an hour and a half for you to get here. For you to tell me you're not sure. Come on, I'm in a Mack truck. Like I'm in who knows where, Wisconsin. And um, I don't I don't know where the nearest Mack truck dealership. I don't know, because he was explaining to me with the new Mack truck models, how the key, how the door is, or whatnot. It goes like this and hitting a 90 degree angle and it cuts this way and it goes this way, which is uh, it's hard for it to really unlock. And um, I was like, damn, man. I'm like, bro, just just try. So he went ahead and got his wedge. It was um, the little, it looks like, you know, it looks like a blood pressure thing to put around our arms to check our blood pressure. He put that in there with the wedge I already had in here and it popped it out a little bit more um, the corner of this door um, but his rod was a little thicker than mine you feel what I'm saying so me being me I rushed on the passenger side I'm watching I'm trying to coach him like yo I'm trying to I'm trying to hit him with a Mike Novell slash Deion Sanders like we we coming <laughs> we here keep bringing that thing down I'm trying to come back on the overtime win you feel me <laughs> so boom he ended up getting it, like he got it, like bum. He got, he actually got the rod right up in here. He pulled it, bam, door unlocked. Man, my heart was like, thank you, God. I was praying. Then he came around and told me, that, uh, so now we gotta figure out who's gonna pay. <laughs> I'm like, man, I got this, man. <laughs> like, I gotta pay anyway. What you talking about? He's like, yeah, but you know, did they tell you how much it's gonna cost? I like, nah. As long as it's not like a thousand dollars. He said, nah, I like three some. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, like I had to hold my keep my composure. But when he said 300, I'm like, you serious, bro? $300, man. Actually, it was $395 and 56 cents. $395 and 53 cents. This has to be one of this has to be the toughest week so far. <laughs> I want to knock on wood. You know, like everything else is just copacetic, man. But that's with the tolls being over $100. I spent like $110, $120 on tolls. Then with this $395, that's easily $500 just for this week, man. $500 going into sort of stupid stuff. Uh, I'm grateful that the door is open, the truck's open. I'm in here. Uh, I'm good. Um, I'm after this video, I'm taking my spare key and I'm putting it somewhere. I'm not gonna tell y'all guys where I'm gonna put it at because I don't need y'all to, you know, try to get me on a, you know, up the up, you know what I mean? I might be sleeping one night. Y'all boy jump in this bit right here, take everything. You know what I mean? Y'all might do what y'all might do me like y'all did the DDG, whatever his name is, and slap me on my forehead while I'm sleeping. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I can tell you where I'm gonna put it at, but there was an old school trucker. And I went to him, he was like the first person I talked to. You know, I'm like, hey man, listen, I locked myself out. I know you've been through this before. Can you help me unlock um to unlock this door? And he's like, man, I, I ain't gonna lie to be honest with you, I don't have those problems. I like I, he's like, I don't I don't have those problems. I'm like, what the heck? Like, can you like I'm like, alright, whatever. But he was actually showed me the reason why he doesn't have that problem. He's like, yo, first thing, like with me, what I've learned, and I guess he was telling me his uh his experience. Back when he started, he was around a group of people. I'm not gonna mention color, race, age, gender, whatever. But he was around a group of people. And um, 
this guy was black, the OG uh, trucker was black. And he said, man, it was like snowing and something happened. They took his keys, right? And they locked the door. Oh no, he went out to the truck stop to go do something. They locked the door. Some guy went in there, locked his door, closed the door, and they sat in the truck. And while he was coming back from the truck stop, his door was locked. So he learned. Um, what he learns, what he told me, he's like, yo, keep your truck, keep your truck, keep your keys on the truck. I'm like, what? He's like, rule number one, man. Keep your keys, your spare keys on the truck. There's so many places around the truck, in the hood. If you keep a trailer like me, you can put your stuff in the trailer. You can actually buy those strong magnets where you want to go ahead and sneak up on the, under the frame or the trailer. But one thing about it too, never ever stick those magnets. Well, he was telling me, don't ever stick those magnets by the hood because it gets hot. And he said that at least sick rubber or whatnot, it's going to start melting and then boom, your, your, your key gone. It, it's back to I-80 somewhere. Another truck, about two or three truckers ran that thing over. You feel what I'm saying? So he said, if you're going to put your stuff in the hood, you want to hang it somewhere. There's a lot of places, a lot of little compartments within your, your hood. Um, if you don't do your pre-trip, you won't know what I'm talking about. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I assume you don't do your pre-trip. So start doing your pre-trip so you can learn a little bit. All right. There's a, there's a lot of places, compartments under your hood that you can actually hang your key right there um, to avoid stuff like this. And that's, that was a $395 lesson. <laughs> A three hundred and ninety-five dollar lesson, man. Um, and it's like I said, one thing about trucking, you always gonna be learning. You always gonna be learning. And they say when you pay, you pay attention. <laughs> when you pay, you pay attention. And I definitely pay today, man. I definitely pay today. But I'm just grateful. I'm happy that uh, we got over this. I'm inside, as you can see. I'm inside a truck. Um, I'm not locked out anymore. And um, we're here, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm gonna go and enjoy the back of the bunk. I'm gonna go and relax a little bit, man, but, woo! This been a, a, a interesting, interesting start of events. <laughs> or an interesting, unforeseen of events. Uh, but, hey, I'm just grateful that I was able to get in here, man, so. I'll be a lot grateful to start heading back down south. <laughs> I'm ready to take a break, man. I'm ready to go on home time, man. But yeah, just want to give y'all an update, man. Broken talks back in the truck, man. We good, man. Y'all, I appreciate. I, I thank you for the prayers. I thank you for the word of encouragement. I thank you for all that. We made it, man. I'm gone, man. I'm gonna go. Re I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this bunk and just just thank God for cause. For the time when I was locked outside the truck, standing outside in the hot sun, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go ahead and lay in the buck with the AC blowing in my face. Let's go.